Hello, my name is John Thuma, and today we're going to go over Aster Analytic Learning Series and how to use the unpivot function in Aster. So the unpivot function is a part of the genre of data transformation analytic uh, operators that come with Aster. This function is built in as a function of Aster. And being able to transform data and, and manipulate data so that you can prepare it for analytics is one of the most powerful things that we do in Aster. So not only do we have the full power of ANSI SQL, but we have other functions that do things like unpivot. And what unpivot does is it basically takes the columns that you want from your source table and turns them into attributes. So the, the column name becomes the attribute and its value becomes, the, the, the value of that column becomes the actual value that is associated with that attribute. So what I'm doing is, is I'm flipping, I'm rotating my columns of data down to, um, into, um, you know, attributes inside of a table. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that works. And I'd use that for data. It's a data preparation module. And I'd also use it just to turn things into value attribute pairs for a certain type of analytic. So it's very simple to run. Um, basically have an input source table. You call the unpivot statement with that, with that uh, input table, and then you get an output table. So this is what our input table looks like. Um, it's basically a create table. It's public SVM derma in. And um, it's got a patient identifier, which is kind of like our key. And then the rest of these columns represent conditions or some sort of observation that was made from a doctor, say, for a patient for arrhythmia and things like that. So these are the, these are the columns that I want to turn into attributes. So the attributes would be arrhythmia and its value would be 3 for patient ID 2. And so you can see I've, I've had to shrink this down a little bit so because there's uh, 34 different uh, columns in here. Um, and uh, so you can see I distribute by hash by PID and I've got a compress low on there. Um, and then these two columns down here are the disease class, which represents um, the diagnosis that the doctor gave for that patient for these variables. All right, so this is the unpivot statement right here, the SQL map reduce statement right here. So you see I'm creating a table, public pivot PIV underscore SVM underscore in distribute by hash PID as select star from unpivot. So as you can see, this works just like any of our other um, analytical uh, operators in Aster. So select star from unpivot on public dot SVM derma in. And this is the name of the input table that we just created in the previous uh, section. And then these, there's two predicates here, columns to accumulate and columns to unpivot. And basically the columns to unpivot are the fields that I want to rotate down into attribute value pairs. And that's just all the fields that we had created in the previous. So you see this green section from the source table are a set of comma separated lists of those fields that are contained within um, single quotes. The columns to accumulate is very important because what this is going to say is, is I'm going to carry over fields. I'm not going to flip those fields. I'm actually going to maintain my patient ID. I'm actually going to maintain my disease class description in there as well. So um, that's how you would run that. You'd run that and you would get data that looks like this. So select star from public PIV SVM in order by PID and I an attribute and I limit by 50. So you can see my patient ID is now duplicating was one record before and you can see I'm keeping my disease class code and then I've got my attributes that make those up and then their values that these used to be the actual column headings in my source table are now values inside of my of my table. You can see it's color coded down here for uh, to help uh, you understand how that works. But it's fairly simple. Now if you want to do this yourself, I've got a create table statement here so you can create the table right here and then um, you can populate the table. So I've created two sets of, uh, of values that you can put into your source table. And then the next step on page three, um, you can just copy and paste this particular set of code here and it will actually uh, show you how to run it and then you can review the output yourself and do this yourself. So I hope this was valuable. Um, I enjoyed uh, showing it to you. So have a nice day. Bye-bye.